we've got um, Nicholas Pardini. He's the managing director at Nomadic Capital. And uh, tonight he's going to talk to us about how the election might impact the economy in Japan. Thank you for joining us, uh, Nicholas. You've written a lot about the Japanese economy. Uh, we've seen that there has been some enthusiasm, at least in the markets, ever since the election was announced in November, basically on the perception that we'll have the former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe likely to win the election on Sunday. He's been very vocal about wanting to see more stimulus to help the Japanese economy. Do you think that is the right tactic, at least in the short term, for Japan? Well, I think in the, whether it's in the short term or the long term, I don't think Japan is going to be able to solve its pending debt crisis unless if it has massive immigration reform. But which is not on the table for any of these candidates right now. Um, maybe in the short term, this will lower the value of the yen, maybe boost up the Nikkei index a little bit more on election day. But I think a lot of the um, reward of this has already been priced into the market at this point. Okay, and, and we know that Japan, in, in terms of developed nations, has the largest uh, GDP to debt ratio at over 210%. Uh, right now, we see that interest rates are low, but of course, those rates are likely to tick higher. What impact do you think that will have on the Japanese economy when we do see interest rates go higher? Well, if interest rates go higher, that is going to cause a lot of negative effects on the Japanese economy. Currently, interest rates on the 10-year Japanese government bond is about 72 basis points. And um, these are like near all-time record lows for Japanese government debt. And with debt and interest payments consisting of 23% of the government budget, uh, interest rates only have to go up to about 2% before the Japanese government goes bankrupt. Because you, have, you also have to factor in Social Security, which is a fixed payment in the Japanese government that can't really just be wiped out, which is another 25% of the government budget. So j interest rates don't have to rise that much, just about 1.5 to 2%, and then therefore the Japanese government won't be able to pay its obligations with tax revenues. This would okay, cause so a debt crisis similar to what is in Europe. Right, so okay, similar to what we're seeing in Greece perhaps. Uh, when do you expect that to happen if in fact we do see those rates tick higher? What's the timeline? Well, I mean, it's, it's just as soon as the rates tick hi higher. I mean. I've, I'm not really quite sure on exactly when it's going to happen, but I would say within the next year or two, you should see rates climb, especially if um, the inflation rate matches Shinzo Abe's promise of 3%. And if deflation stays, this thing could last a long time because uh, Japanese are investing government bonds more out of patriotism than necessarily for returns. And okay, Nicholas. the domestic population will just continue to buy these. Okay. In one of yeah. your reports, you also mentioned a concern about exports from Japan right now, and a lot of this is having to do with, of course, the global economy, but also with a sort of tepid relationship right now with China. How important is the relationship between the two countries for Japan's growth going forward? Well, it's important because China is one of the biggest markets for Japan's uh, manufactured goods. If this controversy of the Daiyu Senkaku Islands continues to cause um, Chinese to boycott on Japanese exports, that's going to really hurt their next exports. And Jap Japan is a country that relies on exports for growth. And the strong yen has hurt them versus competition in their all the products they make towards companies such, countries such as South Korea, the United States, and um, even China in the Eurozone. Nicholas, thank you so much for joining us. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have. That was Nicholas Pardini, Managing Partner at Nomadic Capital.